Uh, some of the other things you can do in iWeb is rotate images. You can go to the metrics panel. You select the image you want to rotate and you can just start dialing a new rotation. So you can arrange these images to fit whatever space you have a little better. Of course it looks a little weird but it works. Uh, you can resize these images um, once they're selected. Uh, to constrain the resizing, hold down the shift key and grab one of these handles and you can resize down or you can resize up. And uh, you can have this effect of the image coming out of the frame that you built. You can click this button and force it to its original size. But when these images are imported, they're resized down a little bit. So if you click on this, they'll be resized up to their original size. And just resize this back down to fit. go you can adjust the transparency to fade things out with the opacity don't generally recommend that you can flip your images we can get rid of this well, we don't need that at all and just click on it and delete it. Oh. oh, this line is put in there too. You don't need this line. Although, speaking of lines, um, when you add a shape, it just shows up here in the middle of the work. So, if you add a line, the line will show up here you grab the handles to draw it in the direction you want. And you can do the same sort of thing here. And increase the thickness. Change the color. Actually, let's do this. You can set endpoints. That's pretty cool. All right. I don't think I would go. Actually, let's do this. Okay, well I'm going to delete this.
and I'm going to get rid of some of this clutter. Okay, there's a lot of distance between this image and its reflection and while this is selected you can click the mask button and you can determine how much of this is visible. back uh, notice how the distance of the reflection is dependent on how the uh, transparent areas of the background picture are I remove the mask, click unmask, then there's a little bit of a distance between the image and the reflection, but if I use a mask and I pull it up, Just touch the edge here. After you adjust the mask, type return. And you can see you can close the gap a little bit. shadow on the whole thing. Let's stretch this out a little bit. Um, I'm going to put some padding on the top. There we go. Select all. Move everything up into range. Alright, if you have a drop shadow on the image, on this whole thing here, you're going to want to make sure that you get it when you make a copy of it. So when you hit Command Shift 4, make sure you draw your outline outside the range of the drop shadow. And all the way down, and it's best if you match the distance on the other side, even though there isn't a drop shadow on the other side. So you keep the image centered in the area that you're copying. Here we go. And this was what you end up with. Okay. When you're done, you can just quit iWeb. Uh, you can save this if you want to, or um, each time you come back, you can create a new page so you can keep the, these designs around for subsequent use. So I'll just go ahead and quit out of here and hit save. And that's it.